Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. <clears throat> I was looking over these uh, mature fig trees that I have inside the lean-to and I noticed yesterday on the black Madeira it looks like I'm going to have a bumper crop and I have figs, little figlets already forming. Let's get in here so you can see there some small figs one here I've got three here but what I did notice in addition to those figs is I have some white fly problems it's been kind of sporadic I had some on the seedlings that I have in the trays and I sprayed them down um, but if you don't put a dent in them they pretty much look at this they get out of hand. They're in this protective environment here. Uh, don't receive any rainfall to knock them down, no predators. Well, I, I have a lot of jumping spiders in here. I don't know if they uh, go after the white flies. They're kind of minuscule. But what I need to do is get these through the doorway. So that's always uh, a challenge without knocking any of these figs off. I've got the Negrone here with a Breba crop. So I have to try to wiggle it through the doorway, sliding it through, get it outside. And then I'm just gonna hose these off, give them a nice uh, spraying down with the water hose, garden hose, and knock down these white flies. So what I do is I have to rock this back and forth. In the inner lock. I know I'm going to lose some figs here. And this pot's falling apart too from it's become all brittle. So here's one of my black Madeira, All right on the end here, one, two, three, four, five, five figlets, just on that, here's some more. So what I have here is black Madeira, that's a nice leaf, this here's Negrone, got some Breba figs on here, other black Madeira, and one of my Ashia Blacks, it's got uh, Breba figs, and it has, just notice that, it has the main crop figs coming up. And you can see the fig mosaic virus really stunting this plant here, this fig tree. That's pretty ugly. So now I just want to hose these down. And since I got them out, I can do a little bit of a cleanup. So I don't know, uh, they seem to be stuck on there. I thought these were white flies, but are these the egg casings? I really have to take them off with uh, some pressure from, from your thumb here, from my thumb. So I don't know if these are egg casings. They're not coming off just with the uh, pressure from the hose. But, well, at least I sprayed them down. I don't want to leave these out here too long. Let me show you what happens to a fig tree that's leafed out in the, in the lean-to or in the, behind poly, polycarbonate. It does offer some protection, uh, reduces the full sun intensity. So let's go take a look at one that I took out and put on the north side of the house. just gets the setting sun and it's still got leaf burn. So this is what happens here. You can see the leaf burn, and uh, a lot of these leaves will just fall off. 
you know, I don't, I don't really know if once the leaf is fully developed under uh, reduced sun conditions, whether um, you can toughen it up afterwards. See, that just fell off. And again, this, this just receives, doesn't get the morning sun, just gets the setting sun and can't take it. It's getting beat up by the wind. These leaves are really thin, almost like, you know, the, you've got gold leaf and you have the backing material and you take the gold, the backing material off. It's just really, really thin and uh, the uh, wind shreds these up too. So I was, I was thinking if you got some of the, uh, not the shade cloth, but the row cover, that is, it's the white, it's very sheer, where if you drape that over a fig tree and removed it uh, a little at a time, you could transition that way. But, yeah, this is, I don't know what this is. Might be uh, Marseille black. Well, let me go move the fig trees back into the lean-to. Well, all my seedlings are a little bit more accessible right now for the moment. You can see here, I want to take, start taking some of these individual tomato plants and up-potting them. So something like this. And where's that single one? This one right, right here. And I have all these sunflowers, I want sunflowers. So these here, I want to get these trays out of here. These, um, I need the space. These are some seeds that I, old seeds from, I think, Audubon Workshop, which is now part of, I think, Spring Hill Nursery, is that the name? One of those. Uh, it used to have its own independent website. And I never really understood what the relationship was, the Audubon Workshop, uh, Audubon uh, Society. I don't know if there was any. Uh, but these are pretty old seeds. I don't know if these are Columbine. This here was a uh, bee and butterfly mix, I think, from Johnny Seeds. So something like this. These two trays here, I can get out of here. These seeds here didn't. These rolled. This is a lettuce. So there's just two. Look, pretty weak plants, but it gets too hot in here for lettuce right now. So that's the status of my seeds. I have some more uh, under some grow lights in the cellar. Oh, and uh, this is interesting. These are basil. And from Johnny Seeds, they have these old discs that look like they're made out of like uh, coffee filter material and sandwiched equally spaced in between the two sheets are uh, basil seeds. So you just put that little disc down, cover it up with a little soil, and you've got nicely spaced individual basil plants is the status of the ginger. I brought it outside here. It seems to be stuck. I don't know, this is growing. I was thought this was going to open up, but maybe this slowly unfolds, sort of like a banana plant. I guess this is getting longer. I thought it was kind of stuck, but I thought this was going to open up. But this is just getting longer. Um, and here's some more seeds here. Let's see, 10, 12, and 13, not sure what those are. I just brought those outside. So yeah, that's torch, that's the plant that's supposed to attract butterflies. Uh, 12 is orange thyme, and 13 there is sweet Thai basil. So I've got all the fig trees inside now. Hose them down, which uh, I'm sure they appreciated. Gave them good soaking. Put some lime down, gave them some diluted miracle grow. So this is New England Gardening. Looking forward to some nice black Madeira figs this season, hopefully. Thanks for watching.